it's been a long time i'm getting ready to go to the lake it's been a few active weeks i am really exhausted and i don't know i feel like i have chronic exhaustion i feel fine i'm just learning to to give in to the flow to the process and just surrender i think i've been trying to learn it from last year to surrender but at this point i'm like okay i'm i'm really doing this so yeah i'm surrendering trusting the process trusting the flow the universe and just coming more and more to who i am to my senses and i feel like eventually it will work out okay, i'm at the lake and i went to like that is nearby and i've been thinking how lucky are we to have have such beautiful nature in Raleigh and just easy access to it in this like city and it's not in every city that you have multiple lakes multiple forests parks and despite the fact that I may not love the direction when it comes to development the direction that Raleigh goes to regardless there's so much nature and this is just so pretty and it's amazing you know and I was thinking that I truly need to change my mindset because I feel like it is a hard experience coming here at a later age and trying to integrate, finding a job, building community. But I feel like my mindset is being an active participant in making this experience a little bit more miserable than it could have been. I was thinking about all the good things that happened here that I experienced and why can't I just live this life in here thinking that every day a miracle happens my life is full of miracle my life is my life is full of magic my mind has to go into those negative spaces and I feel like I've always been like that and I'm just so tired of that I try to abstain from things like comparing myself to others but I feel like still through even the things that I like to do like exploring you know new places and looking at different houses your mind still goes into this kind of like comparison because you're like oh it's probably so cool to be rich you know it's probably so amazing to have access to money and not to worry about financial stability but i can just enjoy those things or look at beautiful houses without going into that you know i'm really finding the ways of silent my negative mind just to remind myself that life is full of miracles those miracles don't have to be huge or big it can be just seeing beautiful birds and um, i don't know seeing a cute dog you know things like that so i don't know um i really want to work on that because i feel like in the long run it will not benefit me and the way i envision myself in my later stages of life i clearly do not have this mindset like this negative mindset i have more uplifting and positive mindset and you know i am more optimistic whatever i envision myself at like 45 55 65 hopefully i can live to that age and be healthy but yeah i don't know i just i need a change and it's so funny you know my channel is about self-growth and just like daily life yet every step you take towards being a better person there are like hundreds more you need to take so that's quite interesting but yeah i'm at the lake right now going for a walk going to journal and then we'll go home and I keep reminding myself that you know that quote that the only thing that should be scary in the forest is a witch so I'm trying to remind myself that that you know I should be the scariest thing <laughs> but uh, they're definitely scary snakes probably I love snakes by the way and I'm trying to make peace with spiders spiders are the ones that actually scare me a lot. I really try to make peace with them and start loving them because they are extremely beneficial for our environment. It's just the amount of people who hate spiders to the point that they will kill any spider. Same goes to the snakes is insane. Especially in North Carolina, when I was like volunteering at the theater last week, there was a lady that was like, I kill, you know, any snake or spider, no matter what they are. It's crazy. But I'm trying to 
make peace with spiders. I definitely ran into the spider web today. I did not panic. I was like, it's okay, it's all right. It's just a spider web. We're going to be good. So yeah, trying to teach myself to be strong. <laughs> This looks like a skull with horns and ears. It's quite interesting. Okay, also while I'm cooking my buckwheat, yes, um, I want to talk about the fact how expectations can ruin our experiences and in general our life. Obviously, it's okay to have expectations sometimes, like if you're pregnant and you know you have a partner, you have to have like certain expectations, I believe. Uh, I believe that. Anyways, um, I don't know why I said it like that. Anyways, but for example, today when I went to the park, I had expectations that I would park normally and then would just go explore and would enjoy it. I still en enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. But when I arrived there, some side of the parking lot was closed. There was a FedEx truck in front of me that like stopped and I was like, okay, you see trying to back up. So I did the uh, free point turn and when there was like the overflow parking on the grass, so I was like stressing out. I wasn't sure, am I supposed to be here? Obviously I knew after the rain, the uh, mill was like overflown. So I wasn't sure something happened. There was no information on their Facebook uh, page. So I was like stressing out that I had to go through this grass and you know, I was walking around the lake. No, actually before the, I started walking around the lake. There's this like terrible smell. I guess they were doing some repair work, but it smelled horrible, okay? And then I started walking around the lake. There were so many people, which is obviously fine, but I expected less. It's the water smell. And I started thinking how in my head this experience was supposed to be different. So I was just thinking how my expectations were different from the experience that I had there and regardless like it still was good like despite my expectations you know I was able to ground myself but if we just proceed and have the expectations I feel like they can really ruin our mood our day our week and in general our life because I I experience that for sure because I had different expectations from life for myself especially when it comes to self-actualization self-realization and career this is not what I envisioned for myself right but at the same time like hey I have the best partner ever for my life like this is also something that I could only dream about I thought that it would never happen and here I am like my husband is amazing for me obviously but anyways it's just like so interesting how we set those expectations so high for every part of our life and then we can disappoint ourselves and I feel like this is another thing I need to actively work on is to stop having expectations you know